Next we'll look at the teres minor muscle. It is a very minor muscle and you can see that it arises from the back of the scapula. It attaches just to, it has a small area of attachment here just underneath the infraspinatus which overlies part of the muscle so the muscle runs in under there it runs laterally over the outside of the scapula and attaches to the back and the side of the humerus. The function of the, of the teres minor muscle is very much the same as the infraspinatus. You see they run in tandem and it almost acts, uh, Treville and Simon say, it acts as the little brother of the infraspinatus muscle. So it is a rotator cuff muscle. It acts to balance the head of the humerus whilst the big power muscles shift it around, the deltoid muscle and the uh, latissimus dorsi, the pectoralis muscles. They swing the arm around and this little muscle is faithfully working away just balancing the head in the humeral cup. This does become activated quite often and you find trigger points and when you have a trigger point which occurs just here, you can see just at the lateral border of the scapula where it joins, where it runs over the glenohumeral joint, just at this area, that's where your trigger be, you, be occurs. When it's turned on the pain is felt mainly over the lateral upper arm and radiates down a little bit into the upper arm over the lateral aspect. It's a deep achy pain. Sometimes, and this uh, is not that common, but it certainly can occur, people describe this strange uncomfortable feeling, not quite the same as the ache that you feel over the lateral shoulder, uh, a kind of burny feeling over the fourth and fifth fingers on that side. When the trigger point is activated the muscle becomes tighter and you get a band within it and therefore the function of this muscle when it contracts is to stabilize the head of the humerus and also it very weakly externally rotates the upper arm. So when trigger points are activated in the muscle itself it tightens and therefore internal rotation of the arm or adduction moving the arm across the body are slightly restricted.